Morgana is hotter than Ash, though. That's debatable. I'm down to run a poll after this game. Who is more attractive, Morgana or Ash? I personally am down. Before we continue, I just want to thank today's sponsor, Intel. Intel sent me their new MSI gaming desktop Codex R14 PC, featuring their newest Intel Core i5-14400 processor, 32GB of DDR5 RAM, a spacious 2TB SSD, and the powerhouse NVIDIA GeForce 4060 graphics card. This PC is a great option to upgrade to the latest Intel technologies without breaking the bank, and it looks super sick. Not to mention, the Intel Core i5 processor boasts a solid clock speed of 4.7 GHz and is equipped with a total of 10 cores. The new Intel Core 14th generation processor offers faster cores for seamless multitasking, ample threads cache for uninterrupted creative flow, and top-notch connectivity with Intel Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LE Audio, and Thunderbolt 4. If you're trying to climb in TFT, it's easy to look up stats, builds, and record your gameplay all at the same time. Whether you're gaming, streaming, or recording, the Intel-powered MSI Gaming Desktop Codex R14 makes everything quick and effortless. You can shop this PC and other Intel gaming systems with the link in the description below. Thanks again, Intel, for sponsoring this video. Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna give you guys a prize, okay? When you come back from the ad break, let me know that you're back, and I'll, I'll give you guys a prize. Oh, wait, we have Scuttle Puddle as an option? Oh, fuck. Wait, don't pick me, don't pick me! Okay. I didn't realize we had Scuttle Puddle. That's, that's usually more fun. We can try the Destroy Story Weaver opener again. Hope. Yeah, I am that good. Oh, maybe. Oh, it's too late now. But maybe Dryads was it? Story Weaver. Burdens of the past. Are you just supposed to always choose Talisman of Speed? Hello, Breadmaker. I'm trying to think like when when would you want the other ones? Cause like, isn't it too early to say like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna have any shred. Oh, oh, I didn't I didn't buy the Caitlyn. I kind of want to try a, a metabolic or a, a ghostly game, a GG ghostly game. I mean, is it too late? I I'm only like two Caitlyns behind if I decide to do it. Wait, I'm kind of down for the GG, the ghostly game. Oh, Caitlyn came back. Never a dull moment. Okay, wait, let's. I'm down to like. Get owned and make econ. So put all the ghostlies in and then behemoth. And then make econ. But yeah, GG, ghostly game. So what does that mean? Let's go ahead and put all the ghosties on the board. Caitlyn, Aatrox, Shen. I don't think there's a three cost. Uh, Morgana and Kane. Five ghostlies. Oh, Alawi. If I get one more ghostly, I could get... Oh, shit. Okay. I could do eight ghosty. So who do we think is the best ghosty unit? Upon dealing or taking damage seven times, ghostly units send out two specters. Okay, wait, there's a few things I need to know here. One, if you die, does your ghosty disappear as well? Let me show you darkness. Anyone know? Because I don't even think the ghostly spat should be on your best units. Like, I don't think I should put it on my DPS. Because, like, a tank can activate ghosty as well. Just by getting hit. You should just put ghosty on a tank. Once the ghost is out, it's treated as a debuff on the enemy. Okay, then yeah, I'm just gonna leave it on a tank the whole game. Maybe I slam a shiv. I'm pretty sure if you're gonna play Ghost, you should just do all tank. Because you're going to, uh, like, your Ghost will just kill everything eventually, right? I herald the greatest blessing. Yeah, your, your Ghost will kill everything. Okay, then I'm just gonna slam this tank item. The Vow. Don't the Ghost just do bonus damage? No, they, they kill. They, they do max health damage. 12% max health. So, all of my champions just get their Ghost out, and then... If I'm understanding this correctly, I think everything just dies. And also, I believe each champion can only summon one pair of ghosts. So, like, there's there's no reason to, um, like, put it on an attack speed unit. Okay, so, like, this Kabuki has... Okay, look, look, there's, like, ten ghosts on the Zoe, so she should, like, be dying. Yeah, she's, like, melting. Wait, that's really cool. 
Wait, this is it. This is a tuber. It's the GG, the ghostly game. Wait. They don't deal damage? Are you sure? Wait, I, I thought it says they do max health damage. Ghostly units send two spectres to haunt nearby enemies and- Oh, and heal? Oh, shit. Sorry, I can't read. I can't read. I, I misunderstood. I thought it would deal percent max health damage per second. Upon dealing or taking damage seven times, ghostly units send two spectres to haunt nearby enemies and heal 3% max health every two seconds. Haunted enemies take bonus damage for each spectre on them and pass spectres on death. Okay, so you still have to do damage. Up for a showdown? Bruiser, sniper. They call me Jolly. Man, I actually had like 10 Kalens this game. Ghostly Ash would go crazy. I don't think you would play the Ghost Spet on Ash, right? Because, like, doesn't it not matter? It doesn't matter if you, uh... Like, you definitely want to put on a tank, because you heal 3% max HP. Someone else can summon the Ghosts, and then you just put- you just have an Ash in the game, and that's it. Yeah, so Ghostly Spet should definitely be on a tank. Oh, I actually would have liked it more if it did max health damage per second. The idea of, like, the trait does a lot of damage is really funny. I guess damage amplification is almost the same thing. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll most likely play Ash here. And it's, like, pretty flexible because there's a ghostly bruiser and a ghostly behemoth, so you can play either one. You can also play around reapers and you can play around sages. But I really want to try eight ghosts. Can you make a ghostly spec? Did you enjoy the Tekken tournament? Yes, I had a lot of fun. I really hope there is another one. And if there isn't going to be another one, I might organize another one myself. Although, it'd be weird to organize another one and then also play in it. So hopefully someone else organizes it. Oh, I think I lost. Wait, wait, bow diff, bow diff. It is absolutely not a bow dev. No. It's not weird. Ludwig does it all the time. I hope. I hope it's not weird. I would like to be able to, uh, to play in my own events. Like kind of like how I played my boot camp. I wouldn't want to like host an event and then have people like accuse me of like rigging it in my favor though. But hopefully people are chill with it. My streak. All because I misunderstood what Ghostly does. Actually, I mean that guy was just really strong, so I was probably never winning. Here's a sniper. Wait, imagine a spat here. Such a waste. Wait. Yes. She's here. What? What the hell? What? As you wish. <laughs> Watch this. Wait. Uh, okay. 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 What do I want to do here? Do I want to do red buff on Ash? I can also do hurricane or last whisper. Lots of options Our here. Wheels align. Oh wait, I gotta. I, I should have a Silas. I think Blast Whisper makes a lot of sense. Yeah, Ash applies Last Whisper to a lot of targets. And then, it, this can be Red Buff or uh, Gwinsu's later. I don't want to sell the two-star Caitlyn yet. Also, why the f*** did I send the bow? It, it was definitely not making the diff. I'm pretty sure I want Gwinsu's, because my Ash is going to be so tanky. Okay, so now we need an Alawi, because she's a ghostly warden, and then I've got a Mumu for Porcelain Warden. Wait, it's actually time. It's actually a GG. What's this? Tristana grants money. Oh, thanks. Okay. Would Ash ever want a mana item? I think you'd always want attack speed, because attack speed gives you mana, and you also stack your uh, passive of more arrows. How much gold are we talking, by the way? Oh, you have my bow? I kind of like that. I also like healing orbs. Okay, I like you have my bow, because it guarantees a red buff right now, which is pretty high value. I'm down. How much gold was that? Like 10? Never a dull moment. I'm at three bruiser. 
Behemoth, Umbral Warden. Uh, I'm pretty sure just another Bruiser is fine. Or maybe just this. Oh, guys, didn't I promise you a gift for the ad break? Quick, give me eight very unusual things. A list of, sorry. All right, guys, your prize, because I played the ad break really late. We've got Bioluminous, what the f These This description's too long. No descriptions. Okay, just eight things, how about that? All right, guys, your prize for me being late on the ad break, brought to you by ChatGPT. I'm going to give you guys Quantum Entanglement! What does that mean? Okay, uh, now let's actually take a look at this Ash. I feel like Red Buff is pretty good on her, because I believe her ability hits a lot of targets. Forget the past. It only clouds the future. So she'll just like kind of melt everyone over time. Yeah, she she melts everybody. Pretty nice. Wait, I got rolled. Hello, Ray Ha Ah. Thanks to the Prime. Wait, what did I get rolled by? Three star Rex side. Oh, well fed. Bruisers, okay. So the last item on Ash, I'm pretty sure is a Glinsu's. And then she'll like she'll go hard. So just rotter bow here. Need more AD. I don't think so. I think I need more um. Like, Gwinsu just scales really hard off of what Ash does. Her ult also stacks Gwinsu's multiple times. Come, let me show you darkness. Okay, I'm like 90% sure that rolling twice here is really good because I'm sitting on so many pairs. Target not. And then one more roll for one big hit. Lissandra? Wait. I never. And I have a two star Ash right now. Am I taking the two-star Ash right now? I feel like I can greed. Yeah, I'll, I'll hit. Although, arguably, hitting a two-star Ash here right now would um, massively like get me to nine. Okay, f*** it. How about two Lissandra 2s? Can everybody play on the PB? Yes, you just have to make an account. It is free. Senna offers to set you on a win streak or a loss streak. Oh, what the hell? Or just get three gold. Um, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a win streak. Now nah, I'd win. Yeah, I'll win. Okay, in that case, I'm definitely doing this. Because winning this is worth so much money. And then I go 8 and I play 4 Porcelain. Okay, so Lissandra should be right in front of Ash so that the orbs like stack together. Or uh, so that we can farm items. How sad would it be if I lost here? Oh, I got an item! Imagine it's a rod. Four porcelains better than two sniper. I uh, well, I would also lose ghostly. I don't think it's worth it. Hey guys, I'm on a seven game win streak. I want to see everything. Steep the current target in a teapot, stunning and dealing 640 magic damage. If they die, there's a 50% chance that Lissandra turns them into a loot orb. Otherwise, Lissandra throws the teapot at the largest group of enemies. That's funny. Late game, you actually don't want to turn into a teapot or turn into a loot orb. I need a rod. Oh, I what the hell? Oh, shit. Okay. I think I can go nine. So let's chill out here. 
Um, Masterwork upgrade. I could just do Hurricane. I'm gonna do a Radiant Red buff. Yeah, I'm gonna slam now for the streak. I, I think this is reasonable. Oh wait, I should've put it on a Mumu. Fuck, what am I doing? But yeah, I think these items on Ash would be like good enough. I don't know exactly how good Hurricane is, but I'm sure it's decent. It gives a little bit of everything. You need IE or Deathblade. All right, I'm not gonna wait for it to show up, right? I'm on an eight game win streak, I gotta slam. A belt. Uh, Marty is good. I don't like stationary support here. Big grab bag is not needed. Okay, Marty. Up for a showdown. Oh, I, I could level here. If I level, what would I even do though? Okay, I no, probably don't. If, if I can't even play anything, I should probably not level. I'll wait two. I, I would only be able to play like a second Aatrox. Play set for Umbral Warden. Yeah, you. I'll have two gold if I level. You want me to conjure up a set? Even if I spent my two gold and rolled, I wouldn't be able to afford him. What about eight ghostly? That would require a lot to go right. That would require me to hit another ghostly spat. I mean, Lissandra printing items is already pretty good. I got a loot orb. Okay, this ash is actually popping off. This is awesome. What's this augment? Lucky Ricochet. Trick shots bounce one additional time. Okay. My fear with augments like this is that if you're gonna play into the fantasy of a trait, it'll either be really overpowered or it'll be balanced, but then um, like the, the base trait is just like not worth playing. You know what I mean? If Lucky Ricochet is really good, then it's gonna be it's either gonna be really overpowered or trick shots are good with it, but they're garbage without it. And puts them into this like awkward situation where you can only play trick shots if you hit the augment. Oh, hey, a redemption. Blue buff the list. No, blue buff is really bad on Lissandra. Shojin's probably better. Or even like tank Lissandra so that she just casts more often would be nice. I'd be done for tank Lissandra. Should get a lot of casts off and print items. What does Silas do? He's just a bruiser tank. He's like a mage fighter with a bruiser tag, but he actually does a lot of damage. We should be able to easily get six ghostlies. I'm kind of down for a tank Alawi. Or tank uh, Alessandra. Ash looks very satisfying. Yeah, I think she's my favorite unit of the set. She's got fun traits. Her ability design is really fun. And she's pretty. Alright. Uh, what am I looking for? I herald the greatest oh, I just got my ghostlies. I'm coming for you. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? Time to take what's ours! How do I play this cane? I have to lose porcelain. I have to lose porcelain. Oh man. Over Silas? I mean there's no way I'm getting rid of my two-star Silas. He's too he's too good right now. If I didn't two-star him, I'd be down. Is Silas just a Giga Chad unit? He's an everything man. He's a tank, bruiser, DPS, AP. So it's like two-starring him with uh I'm coming for you. Two-starring him with good items is like all you need really. Okay, I'm down. I'm down for the synergies. Also, I'm pretty sure tank Lissandra is actually not bad. Ooh, ghostly Mumu. Ooh. Wait, okay. I like this because uh, Lissandra will get, she'll take damage, she'll cast really quickly, and then everybody takes damage. Alright, uh, we print a lot of components. So just like turn them into teapots, and then let Ash finish them off. Oh, the timing's not lining up well though. Oh, this Ash is so satisfying. No Gwinsu's needed. Oh, this is a very cool build. I have three Arcanists. Is there another porcelain unit? 
There isn't. There's only exactly four. I, I need this attack speed, though. 60% attack speed is huge. Okay, maybe I go 10. <laughs> yeah, the streak encounter actually made a big difference. I got so much money. I think I might actually go 10. Like, what else can I do here? What? No prison can hold me. Your spirit is Take it if you can. Do I even need this, Silas? I don't think so. Aw. Need more damage. No prison can hold me. I was thinking about IE and then like Warmogs, but it's nice for the um Lissandra, but it's not nice for everything else. I think this combination works pretty well. And it makes my Morgana a second carry. So many ghosts. Did you see that? The last unit had like she had like 15 ghosts on her. Well, I guess each one, um, it's six units times two ghosts, so 12 ghosts. Wow, I can actually go level 10 right now. That's insane. What should I play at 10? Any legendary? Give me an Udia or a Wukong. I can play this one. I will not hold back. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm down Art to play Huey. Without empathy. Let's play Huey and then go for a three star. Spirit, reveal our way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huey into three star. What does Huey do? Uh, on my board, nothing. But every four rounds, he can make one Ash, or every five rounds, he can make one Lissandra. Oh god, that is a very strong Irelia. Wait, and she's just dead. How is my team so strong? This guy's got Story Reaver Crest, Call to Adventure. Oh my god. This Ash actually is so good with these items. I remember earlier saying, like, how do you make Ash work? If you build Gwinsu's and Gunblade, which feels so good on her, she's so weak. But maybe this is the answer. Like, I just built these because I had to, but it actually feels really strong. I'm coming for you. Uh, I don't think I need that. I'm just rolling for, uh, like, two stars. Our wills align. We have a plan? My journey's only beginning. Some call me evil. Shall I prove them right? Our wills align. Oh yeah, maybe I just play Kane over Aatrox, actually. Well, I feel like two-star Aatrox is gonna be better than two-star Kane here, because Kane's not gonna have any items. Aatrox is just like a body. Hang in there, team. Wait, how did I get so much money? Dude, this Ash is so fun to watch. He doesn't even need Gwinsu's. Go for three-star Morgana instead. Oh, yeah. Hey, why is my artist only at one? Shouldn't it be higher than one? Ooh, is that an Ash on Carousel? I can give the Gwinsu some Morgana. Okay, okay. Surrender. My triumph is inevitable. What's less contested? This guy's got two Ashes. Wait, he's not even playing Ash. Madge, he's just holding it. Okay, that means I have to go for Morgana. Yeah, I'll have to go for Morgana three then, because Ash is gone. If I beat him here though, he might die and then I can get the Ashes. Okay, yeah, he's at one life, so maybe he just dies and then I hit life the unit. Fades. Dang, I haven't hit any Ashes or Morganas in a while. You want the Hui proc to happen right before, or at the end, because normally when you have a dupe, you find eight of the unit and then dupe, because the last one's the hardest to find. Target marked. Legends are told in word and deed. Okay, that, this one's not happening. That's 
way too unrealistic. Well. I never rest. Oh man, I actually missed Kane 5. We actually missed Kane 5. Okay, any Ashes or Morganas? No, okay. Both are uncontested, so I'll just see which one I hit. Oh, I have to guess, though. Because uh, right now, Quay is going to print one. Let's do let's do Ash. I don't think I've hit a 3-star Ash yet. Well, I also haven't hit a 3-star Morgana, but Ash is kind of the superstar here. Morgana is hotter than Ash, though. That's debatable. I'm down to run a poll after this game. Who is more attractive, Morgana or Ash? We must press on. Let's put them next to each other. I personally am down for Ash. Hey, editors, if this becomes a YouTube video, please put a poll. I gotta know. I'm pretty sure. Like, the only thing Morgana has going for her is that she has exposed leg on her dress. Ash is just a queen overall. Wait, I turned him into a teapot. I'm coming for you. Oh my god, don't do not count the amount of canes that I've seen, okay? Whatever we do, do not count the amount of canes. Spirit, reveal our way. I never Ugh. Ugh. Ah! Uh. I I promise there was nothing we could have done about it, guys. There was nothing we could have done. <gasps> okay, I need one Ash or one Morgana. Ow. It's fine. She's on her way. Can I get an A or an M? Maybe M or A? Yeah, let's hit both. I'm coming for you. Oh my god. I'm coming for you. Oh! Nobody look! Please! What well, items should I slum here? I'm done for another redemption, just because we want frontline at this point. Alright, hit one and then way the other. Maybe we'll even hit the legendary upgrade. Aatrox 2. Place your bets which upgrade is going to be hit first. Oh god. Oh, I actually need to hit this upgrade to stay alive. Don't worry, the music's gonna kick in soon. Any second now. I will not hold back. Ah! No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I, I still have 46 HP, guys. And I'm guaranteed one of them. I'm guaranteed one three star at least. Just, it'd be nice if we got the other one. Whatever you. Wait, is that a Kaisa 3? Oh god, it's seven mythic Kaisa three! No, 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 I got, I got it, I got it. I, I have to hit both to win. Yeah, I have to hit both. Just try also, Morgana, if you get, or uh, Lissandra, if you could print me an item that isn't a Last Whisper. I do plenty of damage, I need a defensive item. Okay, come on. Give me an A or an M. Oh, it came. A or M. No. I'm just taking money. Yeah, I just take money. Yo, this guy's about to hit a Wukong 3. <gasps> okay. This guy is going for Wukong 3, and I have a Wukong in my shop. I'm not gonna be that guy, though. 
I'm skipping it. Let him hit. Let him try. Wait, no, you have to survive this round. Oh, my ash is too strong. Oh no, my Morgana three. It was coming next round. The real tragedy of this game is that I had never hit an Aatrox. I sat on Aatrox pair the entire game. That was cool though. That Ash was really good. I'm convinced. I'm convinced that this set of items, even if it wasn't a Radiant Red buff, is way better than my old set of items, which was Gwinsu's Gunblade. Oh, I could have thrown. I could have just like benched my Ash 3. Oh, if I benched my Ash 3 and threw the round. Bench the Ash 3, lose the round, get the Morgana. All right, I promise you guys a poll of who is hotter, Ash or Morgana. All right. Go ahead and vote. It's time to decide who is hotter. Who is more attractive, I guess is a better way to put it. Go ahead and vote. I'm gonna play the ad break. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Make sure to vote. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, it appears that 66% of you guys, two thirds, believe that Morgana is more attractive. <laughs> okay. 